Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. I pray we are such in heart. Tell your neighbor, I pray you are such in heart. I can hear you. They was all over the world. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. You are welcome to the presence of God. Come into the presence of God. It is like walking out of the darkness into the light. Tell your neighbor, come into the presence of God. It's like walking out of the darkness and into the light. Tell your neighbor again. Are you in the presence of God? That is a question. So if you are in the presence of God, you know what I mean. Walking out of the darkness into the light. Come and see the light. I can hear. Come and see the light. You have walked out of the darkness, the fear of this, the fear of that. There are so many things that prevent us from being the kind of person God made us to be. You know, you have been struggling to live right with God, but something is preventing you. Fear of this, fear of that, fear of this, fear of that. There are many fear today. There are many what? What is your own fear? Ask the neighbor, what is your own fear? I can hear you. There are many fear today. Fear of this, fear of that. What is your own fear? Ask yourself this question. Ask yourself now, not even your neighbor. Ask yourself, what is my own fear? Today, another fear has been added. Where is the world going? Another fear has been what? Apart from the fear you have, fear of that, fear of poverty, fear of that, fear of setback, failure, disappointment, today another fear has been added. Where is the war going? That is the question. The fear today cannot even allow you to believe and to trust your neighbor. When your neighbor is coughing, you run away. (laughs) You cannot even give a handshake. We Christian, we believer, we say we are praying. But fear is still within us. We say we are praying. But fear is still within us. And prayer is about heart, about the spirit. It's about within, not without. Tell your neighbor, you say you are praying, but fear is still within you. Tell your neighbor, face your neighbor and tell your neighbor. What a prayer. 
The Holy Spirit help us. In our weakness, we don't know how to pray. It's all about heart, 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 heart. Christianity lies in the heart. You say you are praying. But fear is still within you. You fight on the outside. But on the inside, fear with fear, panic, and anxiety. When trouble comes, you seem to be ignorant of your faith. When trouble comes, where is my faith? Am I a Christian? Where is my God? You begin to look at God in the bad light. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan. Holy Spirit is an enemy of fear. We have turned to Jesus for paying the price making us overcomers and interceding for us before the Father. The same Holy Spirit is the one that sustained Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. It's an enemy of fear. The prayer we are about to offer is not here, but for the whole world. But you are only lucky to be here on the ground. It's more powerful out there than here, the prayer we are about to offer. All the door opened to the enemy through which fear, oppression, is entering into your life by the key of Moses. We are going to chat it up. <laughs> Open your lips right now. I want to see your heart. By the key of Moses, key of David, we are going to chat it up. Are you ready with me? Open your lips right now. Open your heart right now. All the doors opened to the enemy through which fear, oppression is entering to your life by the key of David. Right now, begin to shut it up. Lock it up, lock it up right now. Open your lips, lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. I lock you up in the name of Jesus. Lock it up. Lock it up. By the key of David. Lock it up. By the key of David. Lock it up. I lock you up in the name of Jesus. All powers that have been holding you down to where you do not belong be broken in the name of Jesus. Career failure be broken in the name of Jesus. Affliction, disease. Affliction, indolencia. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Roto en el nombre de Jesús. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Roto en el nombre de Jesús. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Roto en el nombre de Jesús. You need to understand what I'm saying. I'm out purposely because of this. And after this prayer, you will know the reason why I'm out today. 
Listen. Listen. All limitations. Toda limitación. Pass on to you by your ancestor and predecessor. Les limitations que vous avez été données par vos ancêtres et prédécesseurs. In your family. In tu familia. There are certain age people die. Family circle. No one does this, no one does that in the family. All limitation passed on to you by your ancestor. Limitación que te ha sido pasada por tus ancestros. By your predecessor. Por tus predecesores. Limitación que te ha sido por tus ancestros y tus predecesores. Family sicknesses. Enfermedad familiar. Family disease. Dolencia en la familia. The great grandfather died of this. The grandfather died the same sickness. The father died the same sickness. Saku continue. Whatever Satan might have used to connect you with this be broken in the name of Jesus. 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 Many of us have agreed it's a way of life. No, it's not a way of life. The will of God is for us to prosper. The will of God is for us to have good health. The will of God is for us to be head and not tail. That is the will of God. All limitation. Toda limitation. Passed on to you. By your ancestor. By your predecessor. Begin to break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Rompela. Break it. Rompela. Espectadores empiecen a romper toda la limitación. Break it. Telespectadores del mundo entero, brisele o no, es lo que es. Break it. Break it. Rompela. Rompela. Break it. Rompela. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. That link. That chain. Esa conexión, esa cadena. Listen. I can see that chain breaking. I can see that chain breaking. Chain of poverty. Chain of stagnation. Chain of setback. Chain of career failure. I can see that chain breaking. Begin to act it right now. Believe it. Act it. Believe it. I can see that chain breaking. I can see that chain breaking. Chain of stagnation. Chain of disappointment. Chain of affliction. Sickness deceived. Set back. I can hear you. I can see, see, downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. See, see, downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Amen. Ninety-nine percent of what you are going through, as a result of ancestral predecessor, passing on to you. You take your time to study your antecedent, track record of your family. You know you have you have a record. You have story to tell. Prenez votre temps pour examiner les antecedents familiaux. Circle of life. This is the reason why I'm here. When the world started, no see fear of this, fear of that. No, this is from the Old Testament. The same happened to your 
great great grandfather to the New Testament, the same story. Fear. Fear. To add more to your fear. To disturb your business. To disturb your career. Your appointment. Everything is standstill right now. No more appointment, no more business. You can't travel from one country to another, very difficult. And when you are going through one border to another, they embarrass you. Receive fresh baptism yeah. for your sorcerer in breakthrough. Yeah. Receive fresh baptism for your sorcerer in breakthrough. Receive, receive, receive. Is Lord, is Lord, Amen. He has risen from the dead. He Jesus Christ said, I pray your faith will not fail. Yeah. This is the season. The prophecy he gave, century is manifesting now. It's right now manifesting. He said, I pray your faith will not fail. Yeah. Yes. Then something is coming that will challenge your faith. Something will happen that you will not want to sit with your neighbor because your neighbor will cough. Something will happen you will not want your neighbor to touch you because you may be infected. He say, I pray your faith will not fail. Yeah. You know, a thousand places all over the world that they could not come together again because of this, the temptation and trial that is going on. Places of worship, places of this, places of that, will be closed down because of situation on the ground. This is the, the reflection of what Jesus was saying. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. We So this is what your ancestor has passed on to you and predecessor. This is what they have passed on to you. Fear. You right now begin to ask yourself because I don't want you to live here without anointing. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Every yoke in your life must be broken. Yeah. You can't live here without that anointing. Ask yourself, am I anointed? 
if you are not anointed, you are going back. It's at your risk. Am I anointed? Demandez-vous si vous êtes loin. You listened to my message last year that this is fearful, very, very fearful. And I came out at the beginning of this year, yes, to say last year will end March. And the year will continue to be very, very, very fearful. Till this month, this month 27, it will be over. By the end of this month, whether we like it or not, no matter medicine, they matter producing to cure whatever, it will go the way it comes. If, if it is not medicine that brought this to the war, medicine cannot take it out. It will go the way it My concern now is not you. My concern is about your career. You can't travel freely. You can't go freely. I know many places you do businesses. You can't go there. Even if you go there, embarrassment you go through is too much. The embarrassment. People are now using it in every port of entry, using it to embarrass people in every point of entry all over the world. Whether you like it or not. It's not you, per se, but your career is what we are talking about. Your career. And we cannot separate you from your career. We can't separate you from your career. Your career is what we are talking about. You need to travel outside your country. You need to move out. Your friend need to come to you. You need to go to your friend. This is what life is all about. But this Satan has come. And you have children all over the world. Your children are living in different country. Your family are in different country. The peace of heart concerning their peace. This is what we are talking about. So this March, from now to that 27, you have to be in an attitude of prayer. The rain I talk about, it will continue today, tomorrow, and it will just continue in the night. You see what will happen? But if you say your country does not believe, what of innocent people that are living in your country? Believers. But the reason why I'm here today is to clear the air, to let you know calmness has returned. Amen. The same calmness will go around everywhere. Amen. God loves you. And I want to assure you, the viewers all over the world, those who are under the influence of this prayer, take note of two prayers we offer today, all power that have been holding you down to where you do not belong. You know where you belong. That is why you are not happy. The power has been holding you down to where you do not belong. When you are where you are not belong, you are not going to be happy. The joy is not there. Sorrow, depression, that's why many of us are not happy. Because you are where you are not belong. If you are where you belong, you'll be happy. That is why you are not happy, happy today, sorrow tomorrow. And I'm telling you today, you have been delivered. Yeah. <laughs> Satan know you are not happy. Anything he say, you take it. That's the same fear of this, fear of that. They say, hey, mm, you follow it. But when you are happy, the joy of the Lord, no matter what happens, no matter what comes, the joy of the Lord will be there. Remember what I said when I first came. I said to you, when we are in the presence of the law, it is like walking out of darkness into what? Into the light. Say, I'm walking out of darkness. To where? To where? 
to breakthrough, to salvation, to breakthrough, to salvation. Give thanks to God. Merci à Dieu. Vous quittez les ténèbres pour la percer. Give thanks to Him. Right now, your country, whatever you have with you, as a contact point. Father, stretch your hand to your country. Father, cover my nation with the blood of Jesus. Cover my nation with the blood of Jesus. Cover my nation with the blood of Jesus. Redeem my nation. Redeem my leaders. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I can hear you. Hallelujah. Right now, you commit yourself to the Lord. Ask him his grace. You need his grace to live. You need his grace to look. You need his grace. Wherever you go right now, you want to maintain your life, your holiness, your faithfulness, your kindness, all what you have seen today. It's enough for you to live the rest of your life. Ask God to give you the grace to be the hearer and the doer. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. I can hear you. How do you know you are one of the people God has anointed now? You know you are one of the people that have been anointed. Anointed to do what? Anointed to lead you. Anointed for a new beginning. Anointing for a new direction, a new way, a new way. I want to agree with you. I say I want to agree with you. Lord Jesus, make me your channel. Your channel of faithfulness. Make me your channel, Lord. Your channel of love. Make me your channel. Your channel of holiness, uprightness. Make me your channel, your channel of obedience. Make me your channel, your channel of shiny light. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Rejoice, rejoice. Réjouissez-vous, réjouissez-vous. Regocijate. Father. We ask for your strength for our journey back home. We ask for your strength for our journey back home. We ask for your strength, your grace in the name of Jesus. The grace of God is sufficient. When you have this grace, where you are weak, you are strong. Where you are poor, you are rich. Take note of that. You say, I am weak, but you are strong. That is the grace Paul Apostle was relying on. So you need that grace. Ask for the grace. In Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias.